Hello, it's Spikes here, and welcome back to Pac-Man World of the Pack. Last time we defeated and we 100%ed 5 3 Down the Tubes episode. Next time, well, this time I mean, we are going to the boss, 5 4 Chrome Keeper. Which I hope this boss is not as difficult as some other bosses, because. I'm mentioning the World 2 boss. For some reason, World 2 is just way more difficult than any of the other worlds. Okay, well those pipes look dangerous, so I'm gonna avoid them. It's good old talk, man. What are you doing this time? That's a pretty fancy trick you got there. That's cool. The Crone Keeper. Now I hardly doubt this one is gonna be very difficult. I hope so. Hmm. Hey, don't touch the bomb blocks. Oh, I think I have an idea. Maybe we need to get captured by one of these. And then... No, I need to be captured by this one, actually. And then maybe we can hit the boss? Yeah, watch out for this cog. No! If those burners are gonna be all over the map, I don't think I can do this boss. It'll be impossible. It'll be an impossible boss. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for the metal pack again. I think I have an idea of what we need to do. Wait, there's something underwater. I think we might need metal pancreas for what's ever underwater, actually. Okay, we cannot go underwater. Okay. I'm actually quite glad that isn't part of the solution. I need to get abducted and then... Then what? Okay, there's gotta be some kind of pattern to this boss that I'm not realizing. Okay, for some reason I thought the audio cut out. Yes, the star changes. I don't know why, and I think it was because the loading screen just felt really long. Okay, we need to somehow get the bomb blocks over there, I think. We got metal pack man. Let's try the metal pack man idea again. Okay, I don't see how this is gonna help us. No, that's definitely not what we're supposed to do. Maybe we can kick the bomb blocks over there with a red roll as a bomb, not as a bomb, but as metal packing. I just need to wait for metal pack yeah. But the fact that metal packing crates are rare means that we need them for this boss. But in what way, I don't know. See, my idea is that we need to get the bomb crate over to the conveyor over there. But I don't know how we can do that without being able to move it in any way. And I don't see how we can switch the pattern of this one right there. Oh, I don't like it. Go away. But we definitely need metal pyramid for something. Obviously we're not going to rev roll into that. Okay, you're defeated. That did not work. Which I assume since we destroyed the crates on impact. So maybe I can lure the crates over here? If I just stand here a bunch? Maybe that will help. See, no crates actually spawn over here. Maybe we do it this way? Can I just pick up the crates? Throwing the pack that does not work. Do I just need to get close to the boss with Metal Pack Man and throw a pack dot? Am I overthinking this? That would explain why this is there. Oh. Yeah, I was overthinking the boss. 
Okay, now we actually know how to do damage. That's perfect. Now I just need to be more patient and wait for the boss to be a boss. Okay, perfect. I grab the metal pack dot and then avoid this thingy. I didn't think pack dot could aim that high, it's a problem. I gotta defeat you before you do anything drastic. Uh oh, it looks like you're super angry now. Oh no, now you got arm cannons? What will I do? Oh great, now you're firing homing missiles. Ooh, a wedge, I need that. Thanks. Huh? Okay, I think that isn't actually anything important. I think we just need to avoid it. Okay, grab the middle pack dot. Make sure we're on the right side. Okay, it's a little finicky, but I think you just need to get to the very edge and then throw the pack dot. Also, speaking of pack dots, we're running low, so we might as well grab some more. Okay, or maybe miss that bouncing that crate a billion times. That also works. Okay, I need some more pack dots. There we go. Ooh, and speaking of, there's our metal power pallet that we need. Boop. Only two more hits left in this boss's house. Uh oh, it's gonna enter a new phase. Now you're electric. Oh, do you have mega missiles now? Great. Oh, you got a mega laser now. Okay, now I gotta jump over a mega laser and worry about other things. That's just too much. Okay, those are the missiles. Oh, you destroyed the creep for me. Thanks. I just wish I didn't get hit in the process. Only one more hit left. You have some super secret epic final phase. Okay, let go of me. I wasn't even metal for that long. Oops, I just jumped straight into a bomb crate. Okay, what, we need health or we just need to be focused? Okay, I'm gonna try to just be focused. Okay, jump over the bomb crate right there. Okay, avoid the missiles of doom. Okay, there is our metal pack dot that we need. Okay, we got the metal pack dot, so we don't have to worry about taking damage now. We just need to hit the boss, and we did it. That boss actually wasn't that difficult. I'm glad we didn't have to spend an entire, almost double length episode trying to defeat it like the boss from World 2. Well, actually, it's called Area 2. I don't want to get people confused with Pac-Man World 2. Which I have actually already played on this channel. I'll link the playlist in this video at the end of it. And also the previous video, just in case. Boop, 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 boop. No miss bonus. I could have grabbed all that extra bonus points, get some extra lives, but I was just glad the boss was over. Because it was difficult, but not very difficult. Like impossible. Alrighty then, so the next area isn't over there. Oh, there is our friend right there. Hello. Or our son. Welcome back. Talk this place is pretty close now, you can do it. That was odd. Hopefully you didn't hear that in the video. Everything just turned into static of doom. Yeah, that was very painful for my ears. Oh, I think we may have reached the final world. This is the boss mansion area. So let's jump right into it with the ghostly garden episode. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the perfect stage. It's all Halloween themed. This is perfect for the time of year. Okay. Giant Pac-Man time. Eat all these ghosts. All these silly ghosts who think they can escape giant Pac-Man. 
in which they cannot. Pretty sure that much is obvious. So this is probably going to be the hardest stage that we've encountered. So I got to be very careful not to platform straight off the edge. Okay, it looks like a lot of ghosts here, which would make sense since this is the talk man's place and they are friends with ghosts, like weirdos. Who would be a friend with a ghost? Everyone knows that they're the bad guys. Work and go. Okay, I think this chain might be a bit tricky to get. Oh, never mind. They provided us with a nice slope. Okay, I'm actually gonna wait patiently because I feel like this is gonna mess up our jump. Okay, the blue coffins probably fall apart or something. Oh, they slowly disappear. That's new. Whoa, you shoot fire? No, 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 no. I cannot let you breathe. No skeletons allowed. Okay, I could have sworn we got a strawberry. No, we didn't. We didn't get a strawberry. I'm just imagining things. Because I just really wanted a strawberry. That's my problem. Because I, we are running low on lives. Only 26. I don't think we might we might not make it to the end of the game. This way. Okay, gotta jump around that. Okay, looks like we missed the first letter already. See, I should have known. This stage is going to be very difficult to find the letters. Okay. And we missed a maze too? Could we destroy these coffins or something and maybe they have secrets? Who knows? I just want to make sure that this coffin is more on the main path so when I make that jump, I get hit with a bomb. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm so glad the game knew. Okay, we just barely made that jump. And we missed the piece, so I don't think there's any point of trying to go after the letters now. Unless this is gonna give us what we need. No, nope, it did not. We missed the secret side at some point. And now we can't get the letters like we always wanted. Okay, we're not expecting that. Okay, we gotta be really careful because we're running low on lives, remember that. Okay, and I don't want to get a game over. I don't even know what a game over would do. But you can defeat those. Good to know. Okay, we can just bounce around here. Now we're gonna do this entire section again without falling. Okay, I didn't expect it to go. It actually would make sense that the platform would end there. Because it would be three steps and then that's at the bottom it starts going flat again. So if I just pay attention to my environment a little bit more, I wouldn't be dying as much. So remember, we are very, very low on lives. Okay. There we go. Let's just grab this, because why not? Is that going to cover that hole? I wonder if that hole has a secret or it's literally just death. I'm going to assume it's just that. It's time to rev roll. I like the rev roll. It's very satisfying to pull off. Also, this music is Halloween fresh. That's amazing. Very, very, very spooky. Okay. I don't understand. Is this a maze of some kind? No, I need that platform. Do not move it away from me. Watch out for the bomb. Okay, didn't drop the bomb on top of our head. Because I used the power of depth perception. This stage is actually very scary. I might actually have to use the floaty jump for once. In order to survive. Now let's do it the traditional way. As it was in the original. Where you didn't have the floaty jump. Or maybe you did, I don't know. Okay, this is definitely a secret. Well, not much a secret, more of a chomp the ghost kind of thing. Oh, but he gave us a melon, which gave us the M. So we missed C at some point. Good to know, I guess. I'd rather just be missing the P and then having to look for him later. Of course, the game would do a rub roll off the edge. They haven't done a rev roll off the edge before, so the game, now this is the perfect stage to introduce that. 
Ralph rolling off the edge. Okay, I gotta time this perfectly. And no, I think what I need to do is aim for the button. Let's try that. Rub roll up, and then rub roll up. Okay, we missed the button. Actually, I'm not too sure. No, I don't need easy mode. Easy mode wouldn't even help in this situation. Okay, stop. Up. Okay, seriously. Let's just go up. This is seriously not long enough to charge. Okay, I'm gonna charge it for way long. Maybe it's the sleep that I began on. Is that the case? Why can I not rev roll up here? Okay, rev roll and jump. I completely forgot you can cancel rev roll with a jump. Good thing I just remembered then. Otherwise we would have been falling off and dying a billion times. Okay, this is actually some tricky platforming. These coffins are not big platforms to jump on. Goodbye, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, I see what we need to do. We need to jump on this rock. Seriously, I didn't even know there was that big that twice. Apparently, if you get too close to them, they do. Okay, I see what I gotta do here, but I need this bat out of the way. Otherwise, I won't be able to land this jump properly. Okay, not that. Hey, Pac-Man. Okay, I think we need to do a butt bounce. Okay, get rid of you. Then that just leaves you with your bomb. Which I easily got rid of. There's the second to last letter. So we know that we're almost finished with this stage. Wait, wait. Aha! There we go. This game is fun. I like this. It's a nice little platformer not too difficult okay just gotta jump over here i'm just really bad at dodging enemies in video games apparently that's why my health is always so low but in terms of the platforming okay for a second i thought the brown one was disappearing and i would have been scared and goodbye and you are goodbye as well I don't want to deal with any silly skeletons. Okay, I think I know what we gotta do. We gotta cancel rebel. I kind of want the extra life since we're low on lives, but not really. I'd rather we get closer to the end of this stage because it's so difficult. Okay, now we gotta deal with the same thing, but it's ghosts. But this angle is actually way easier to dodge the ghosts, so thing the game is a lot nicer and we could go back and try to defeat the ghosts but nah okay I don't understand why it's like that I could just jump over all those coffins I'd rather just not risk it you know okay we know where the final order is so we don't know where the C is or where the N is okay good to know okay there's the random lemon over here oh I see Cause we gotta hit that switch to progress, right? Okay, I'm not gonna go giant Pac-Man. Because I'm afraid that the end of the stage is right here. Woohoo! And we didn't get the bonus stage. Unfortunate. Okay, let's see how many Namco tokens we got. We may actually be able to do the slot machine this time. Boop and boop. Nope. You failed miserably. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this Pac-Man World Adventure. I'll see you in the next episode where we go to the creepy catacombs.